And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back everyone. Another hot one today with high temperatures in the 90s and triple digits in places like McAllen and the Upper Valley. That'll be the same case for tomorrow, so try to stay cool out there. The temperatures are still very warm right now. We are in the upper 80s in places like Rio Grande City and McAllen, lower 80s in Brownsville, mid 80s in Port Isabel and in Edinburgh, as well as Westlaco. And it's been breezy for today. Again, still quite breezy for this evening with the winds out of the south to southeast between 13 to 18 miles an hour. We still have a gust of 28 in McAllen and 18 in Westlaco. Those winds should come down a bit more for tomorrow or for tonight, but then crank up for tomorrow. Your day planner forecast once again very warm tomorrow morning with a temperature of 81 degrees at 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll have partly cloudy skies for the first half of the day, followed by mostly sunny skies by the afternoon and again hot and humid for tomorrow. 93 at noon and 94 degrees at 5 p.m. Here's the forecast for 4th of July Tuesday. As it stands right now, it should be dry but hot, mostly sunny during the day with high temperatures in the upper 90s and and for the fireworks Tuesday night, just warm, humid, and partly cloudy with low temperatures in the upper 70s. If you're grilling or going to the beach, if you're outside really for the next couple of days, obviously please take it easy and drink lots and lots of water. It will feel hot and, of course, humid. We are tracking the tropics here at Channel 5 in the Atlantic Ocean. We continue to watch this tropical wave, which is about 450 miles to the southwest of the Cabo Verde of the Islands. Right now, a 40% chance of development over the next five days as it moves to the west northwest, but it is still many, many days away from the Windward Islands and the Eastern Caribbean Sea. In the Pacific Ocean, we have two areas of low pressure. One is an area of low pressure to the south of Acapulco, Mexico. This one has a 20% chance of development over the next five days and a new tropical wave coming off the coast of Central America. That one also a 20% chance over the next five days, but moving uh, toward the west in the Eastern Pacific Ocean. So back home in Texas, we have this big ridge of high pressure lot, this upper level high, very stable air mass in place. And that's why it has been rain free and quiet. Now we can still see rain sometimes under these ridges of high pressure. They're seeing rain out west in our uh, El Paso area, west, west Texas. But for us, this upper high will control our weather really for the rest of the weekend into the first half of the week. And that's why it'll stay rain free for the next couple of days. So as future track, upper level high continues to dominate our weather here in the valley as well as northern Mexico. But over the next couple of days, that high will start to back off to the northwest. So it's going to stay hot, but by next Thursday, as that high moves back to the northwest, there should be a bit of a weakness in the upper atmosphere, giving us a slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms back in the forecast by the second half of the next week. At this point, we're calling for about a 10% chance of rain on Thursday and maybe a 20% chance of rain for next Friday. But of course, it will stay hot. On the water, small craft should use caution on the bay waters and near shore gulf waters. The bay waters are moderate chop. Winds are to the southeast at 10 to 20 knots, and the seas are 3 to 6 feet. So for tonight, partly cloudy, warm, breezy, and muggy with low temperatures in the upper 70s. Then for tomorrow, more heat, more humidity, high of 97. We'll see triple digit highs from McAllen and the upper valley. When you factor the humidity into the air temperature, it'll feel like 105 to 110. So that seven day forecast, it is dry for 4th of July Tuesday with highs in the upper 90s and mostly sunny skies down to 77 for Tuesday night. Maybe slight rain chances by the second half next week. That's your first four and five forecast. We'll be back.